Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. This channel is gonna be mainly about my life and vlogs. So I will be posting here a lot of my journeys around New York City. Um, today actually we'll be going to a Japanese store and uh, my friend's gonna join me uh, just in a couple minutes. Um, but yeah, today we'll be going to uh, 42nd Street for the Japanese store. Uh, the name of it is Kinakunya. I hope I pronounced this right. So check this out. I hope you like the video. Give me thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much. Enjoy the video. My whole trip starts with riding a subway because I live in Brooklyn. So it takes me uh, 40 up to 45 minutes just to get to New York City from Brooklyn to the 42nd Street. And I usually take Q train or B, but usually I take B because it takes me to Manhattan faster. And I think it's pretty convenient to uh, use the MTA in New York because compared to other states, New York MTA is doing a pretty good job. And this is my favorite part of riding subway when you're crossing the Manhattan Bridge between two boroughs. So as you can see, this is East River. And on the right side, you've got Brooklyn. On the left side, it's Manhattan. And this beautiful view gets me all the time. All right, as you can see, we um, reached our final destination, which is the 42nd Street in Bryant Park, which is a historically pretty good spot for hanging out with the friends and family, and especially during the winter time, um, because there's uh, ice skating season is about to open up. I was kind of worrying about that, if they're gonna open up the season this year because of the pandemics, but thankfully they will. All right, here we are, Kinakunya Bookstore, which is located on the 42nd Street in Bryant Park. My friend and I were getting ready to get, get inside, and as you can see, um, we have to follow the rules provided by the New York State. We have to uh, sanitize our hands and wear the masks, because it's very important for all the civilians of New York City. And as you can see, the store itself has three floors, uh, basement first floor and second floor and at this today we decided to start from the basement and look at that all those cards all those accessories books notebooks and they got even masks from japanese culture and as we go further you will see them hanging on the wall and most of those literature and books are written in japanese which makes this place uh, very unique compared to other Japanese places. And look at those toys. This is something you cannot really find in another Japanese store over New York City. And all those bookshelves filled with uh, different books, pants, they got even uh, jumps. I think what makes this uh, place special is that the, most of those books are written in Japanese and as I go further inside the store, if you're a big fan of uh, Japanese culture and you want to learn uh, Japanese, it's definitely a must place to go and I even found the books, Star Wars books uh, written in Japanese, which i never seen something like that in my life. After exploring the basement, we're heading out to the first floor of the Kinokunya bookstore, which is filled with all different varieties of the books from American and Japanese authors. My favorite book in the store is pretty much Goodbye Things by Fumi Sasaki. Um, this book promotes minimalist lifestyle, which I kind of follow, but my friend was kind of looking for uh, Japanese recipe books because he's kind of into uh, Japanese culture and Japanese food. All of these bookshelves, all of these bookshelves are filled with Japanese culture, wisdom, and knowledge. I found pretty cool books to read, and I think Japanese minimalism lifestyle kind of changed my life in a good way, especially with saving money and living a simple life. I have no words to explain how I like this place, and especially with this 
variety of the books that I want to read and explore more knowledge about Japan and different aspects of Japanese life and culture and just take a look at those shelves filled with the knowledge I, I don't know if I have enough time to <laughs> read all of them I'm pretty sure one day I'll read them all all right from the first floor we're heading out to the second one which is gonna be the best floor ever and you will see why just in a second all right here we are we made it to the second floor of the Kunek Kinokuinia bookstore uh, and this store is the best part because all those shelves filled with manga if you're a big fan of manga and anime in general this is your paradise because Kinokuinia got everything all different varieties of anime starting from Bleach and all the way to Naruto they got the nose merchandise they got um, one piece they got figures they got posters pretty much everything everything that is relatable to anime as they go further you will see they have a lot of varieties of the toys with your favorite characters from different animes and look at those posters and toys wow which is amazing 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 wow see they got the collections and they got the soft toys uh, different manga, manga collections wow wow look at this merchandise wow high quality characters and look how they packed wow just amazing to see things like that you know I never been to stores like that in my life and this is a pretty good spot as I mentioned before and all those toys just unbelievable how realistic they are and the price is actually pretty accurate you know you can find uh, your favorite character and just buy it for a good price that's what makes it place even more unique uh, prices are not that high because the allocation of the store is Manhattan and you expect it to be very expensive but here you can get something from the store for a memory for sure and also this place has a cafeteria with different variety of the foods um, they got the Japanese food, triangles, snacks, sweets and you can eat there or you can take it take out but since it's a pandemic it's only to go and I don't know what's the name of those little toys I see them all the time in different stores but they're a pretty good thing to have you know I even grabbed one from my buddy so we'll be remembered wow look at that all high quality all nice from different animes from fail i think like from uh, very famous animes because pretty much i was watching naruto for a long time and times to times i still keep an eye and even watch the baruto and i was looking for a shaman king manga but i couldn't find one but i heard it's gonna they're gonna do um a new uh, Shaman King version so let's see how's gonna come up but those my favorite this is my favorite figures from Naruto they got Naruto, Sakura, Ino and I remember growing up as a kid I used to dream to have one like this so now finally I grew up and I can really buy it for myself so yeah just I'm pretty much in love with this place and all those manga collections just you want to just buy everything everything in one set but you know pretty much you're pretty sure you will run out of the money fast but it's a pretty good place you know to go on regular occasions maybe one time in a week with a buddy or friends to hang out and discuss your favorite manga or even grab a new one to read and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you will like it from the you will love it from the first sight all right so 
look what I found. I found old school Naruto Shippuden mangas. And that's how I was introduced to anime. When a friend of mine actually uh, gave me those books to read. And I was very impressed by uh, pictures and dialogues. And that's I think how I was hooked to anime. And then later um, she gave me some uh, DVDs and actually watched Naruto on my DVD player. And I was completely attached and addicted to anime. Yeah, this was pretty much it. And that was the whole tour of Kina Kuinia store. My favorite spot to hang out with my friends. And I hope that you found this video very useful. I also have another channel to subscribe where I do a lot of calisthenics. Make sure to check it out. Thank you very much. Sign out.